This report includes graphic content. Viewer discretion is advised. Gunfire and blast, the only signs of life now on this Bangkok street. Most residents have evacuated the neighborhood, except for a small few. Why are you still here? It's so dangerous. I have nowhere else to go, she says. A few seconds later... Wow. Not scared at all. <laughs> no, I'm used to it, she says. But many residents of this town are horrified that their city is unrecognizable in some places. Even some of the swankiest hotels show damage from deadly street battles. Then came news that the anti-government renegade general, shown here after being shot in the head Thursday, had died of his wounds. We are sad that he is dead. We did not believe in his violent way of protesting, but we are sad the government killed him. The government announced that by late afternoon, these protesters must move out of the area because they are terrorists causing loss of life. But the red shirts are standing here. They have a huge lineup calling themselves peaceful protesters, not terrorists. In essence, the stalemate continues. The government is saying go out, go out now. No, no, no. I would like to die. If he kill, I, I would like him to kill me. I'm not, I'm not afraid. Even though she has two children who don't understand her resolve, others weren't so bold, moving their children and elderly parents to the grounds of a temple, a supposed safe zone in the middle of chaos. Kim, you're only nine years old. Do you know why you're here? I am having fun. I can hear music. It is better than staying home, says this nine-year-old girl, an innocent voice unaware of the deadly violence that has gripped this city for days. Sarah Seidner, CNN, Bangkok.